Catherine Grukowski with Alberta Today. Um, so you had described these uh, environmental organizations as being well-funded, but at the same time, 54 million compared to the multiple billions in PR, uh, it seems like it's more of a David and Goliath story. At the same time, I'm looking through this report and it says the Canadian Energy Centre, the attempt to tell Alberta's story, it, um, uh, it is, quote, uh, it may well be that the reputation of this entity is damaged beyond repair. It says that the Crown Corporation is seriously compromised by having provincial cabinet ministers sit on the board. So how has this fight back strategy actually helped? It looks like there's a lot of harm. And second question, how will you be changing tactics as a result of the findings in this report? So with, with respect to the uh, Canadian Energy Centre, well, it's, it's transitioned now beyond its early days when there was a lot of concerns raised. And it's been doing some really good research and advocacy as of late. And I think one of the things that we can take away from the report, I think your third question was about what we can do with those findings, is to learn from their tactics. What the report said is that the environmental organizations were collaborative. They worked extremely close with each other. They understood their strengths and weaknesses whereas the, the pro-resource, they worked in silos and they, they often competed. Uh, many of the remaining uh, recommendations in the commissioner's report addressed how can we get the uh, pro-energy groups to work more collaboratively.